In this video, what we're going to do is have a look at the effect of changing different factors, but we're going to start with concentration on the position of equilibrium. So let's just remember we've achieved a position of equilibrium where the products and the reactants are remaining constant. They're not the same as each other. The rates are the same as each other, but the amounts aren't. And what would happen if we started to change things? So in order to understand this, we have to understand something called Le Chatelier's principle. And Le Chatelier's principle says that if a system in equilibrium is subjected to a change, then the position of that equilibrium will move in order to oppose that change. So we've got Le Chatelier's principle. So we're already in equilibrium. We're already achieved this sort of constant of amounts of reactants and products. But if we were then to change something, what effect would that have on the amounts? So a new equilibrium will be achieved and where will that equilibrium be compared to the first one? So will it shift more to the right and get more, more products than we had in the previous equilibrium? Or will it shift more to the left and we'll have more reactants than we had in the previous equilibrium? And it will depend on what you do. So the first thing we're going to look at is the change in concentration. So remember that we have set up this equilibrium and we don't we haven't been given any information, but we can think, what does that mean? So let's just assume that this is an equilibrium that lies slightly to the right. So we can imagine that little graph we had before. There is more products than there are reactants, because I said the equilibrium perhaps lies to the right. What um, would be the effect if we started to make changes? And, and how might we notice that effect? So what we've got here is an equilibrium where things are coloured just so that we can notice any effects. And we've got a mixture of a pink cobalt compound with a blue one. So these are called complex ions. They're, they're ions that have um, multiple things attached. What colour do you think a mixture of pink and blue would be? So we've got this mixture of something that's pink and something that's blue. And so it's going to appear purple. Yeah, it's a mixture of pink and blue. because we've got some of the pink and some of the blue. Now in my um, little diagram, I assume that we've got slightly more of the blue, so it might be a deeper bluey color in that purple. So more, more of a bluey purple. If it was equilibrium line to the left, then it would be more of a pinky color. So what the question is, what would happen if we added excess hydrochloric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid that contains Cl minus ions. Okay, so what would happen if we added Cl minus ions? So we look where they are. Cl minus ions are here on the left. Now, according to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will shift to oppose that change. So if you add chloride ions, then Le Chatelier's principle says that the equilibrium will have to shift to remove the chloride ions. Now, to remove them, it has to convert them into the products that are on the right. And so we've added something from the left, we've added a reactant, so we were at this equilibrium position and we started adding a reactant and now that means that we'll have to shift to the right to remove it. So wherever we were already in a position that was to the right but we're now going to shift a little bit further to the right to remove it and as a result we're going to get more blue than we were before. So we've gone from this kind of purpley blue colour to a more blue colour. There we go, so we've shifted to the right, we've gone more to the side of the blue. So what would happen then next if, um, oh sorry, we can summarise that. It says if the concentrations of reactants increases, then the position of equilibrium will shift to the right, away from the reactants and towards the products. And we need to be able to explain that in terms of Le Chatelier's principle. So we're going to write down a little explanation in terms of Le Chatelier's principle. So we're going to shift to the right to oppose the change and reduce the added reactant, reduce the amount. Let's have a look at a different change we could make. What if we were to add water to this equilibrium? So let's have a look. We're going to add water. So let's go back to our equation and have a look at what effect that would have. So we can see that water is on the right. And if we were to add some water, then according to Le Chatelier's principle, the equilibrium will have to shift to remove that added water. So it's going to turn that water um, it back into the 
compounds on the left. And so the solution is going to go um, from a purpley colour of the mixture back towards the pink. So it's going to become more pink. So if we add a, um, a product, then the equilibrium will shift to the left. So at the moment, it was somewhere in the middle. We had this kind of purple colour. We're now adding more things to the right hand side. So according to the Schiele principle, we're going to shift back towards the left and the compounds on the left are more pink in colour. So it's going to turn pink in this case. It's done that to oppose the change and reduce the amount of added product. Now this particular example, we could think about other things we could add that maybe aren't in, the, in there. And this one we're adding here is what if we added silver nitrate? Silver nitrate isn't actually in this equation anywhere. There's no silver, there's no nitrate, but we need to use our little chemistry brains and figure out what could silver nitrate do. So pause the video and have a think about what silver nitrate might interact with in that equation. And what we know is that silver nitrate is a test for halide ions. It removes the halide ions, in this case the chloride ions, by making a solid silver chloride. So what effect would taking away some of the chloride ions have? So if I start removing these chloride ions, according to Le Chatelier's principle, I'm going to have to shift back to the left to replace them. So I was a purple mixture, but I've, have, I've taken away some of the chloride ions, so my equilibrium shifts to replace those chloride ions. It's going to turn more pink, but there's going to be something else happening as well, because what does silver uh, chloride look like? So it's going to go from purple to pink, but we're going to get that white precipitate of silver chloride present as well. So it's going to look a bit like a pink milkshake, pink with white solid in it. Um, and then what we can say is that we've removed a reactant, so we've shifted left to replace that reactant. To oppose the change, we always must use Le Chatelier's principle in our answer. Okay, so this is how concentration has affected this equilibrium. Now you've got to be able to apply um, different changes to different equilibriums. But just remember that if you add to the left, we go to the right. If you add to the right, we go to the left. If you take away from the left, you need to come back with some more to replace it. So you will go left. If you take away from the right, you need to go right to replace it. So you just need to think about the particular example you've been given. Always quote Le Chatelier's principle in your answer.